we're told here is a graph of a segment of f of x is equal to x. And so they've graphed that segment right over here. And then they tell us that g of x is equal to negative 2 times f of x, and they want us to graph g. So think about how you would approach that. Now let's work on this together. So g of x, whatever x is, I would evaluate f of x, and then I would multiply that by negative 2. So let's pick, say, when we are at x equals 3. f of 3, it looks like that is 3. In fact, we know that's 3, because f of x is equal to x. So f of 3 is 3, but if we want to figure out g of 3, that's going to be f of 3 times negative 2, which is 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. So f of 3 is negative 6. Now let's think about negative 5 over here. When x is equal to negative 5, we see that f of negative 5 is negative 5, which makes sense. But if we were to take g of negative 5, that's going to be negative 2 times f of negative 5. So it's going to be negative 2 times negative 5, which is positive 10. So it would get us up here. So really what you see happening when we multiply f of x by negative 2, well, if we multiply it by 2, we would just be scaling everything up by a factor of 2. But then that negative then flips it over the x-axis to get what we see right over here. Let's do another example, but it's going to be a little different. Here, instead of multiplying times our f of x, we're multiplying the x by a number here. So it's a, here's a graph of the segment f of x is equal to x. We see that again. And now they've defined h of x as being equal to f of 1 third x. So let's graph h. So one way to think about it is, I know what f of 2 is. f of 2 is equal to 2. Now, for h, I could actually input 6 in here. I could figure out what h of 6 is. How do I know what that is? How do I know I can do that? Because h of 6 is going to be f of 1 third of 6. Or another way of saying it, h of 6 is going to be the same thing as f of 2. So h of 6 is the same thing as f of 2, which is 2. And then we could do that on the negative side. For example, we know that f is defined at negative 3. f of negative 3 is negative 3. Now if we were to go 3 times that value, and we were to say, what is h of negative 9? h of negative 9, we could go over here, h of negative 9 is equal to f of 1 third times negative 9. Or it's going to be the same thing as f of negative 3. f of negative 3 is negative 3. So h of negative 9 is negative 3. So notice, now we are scaling, we're making it wider when we multiplied inside of our function, or as we multiply x times a fraction. If we multiplied this times a value greater than 1, then we would be squeezing it in the horizontal direction.